Hello and welcome to iGadget. Today we are going to be looking at a shortcut I made for iOS 17 for standby mode for non-iPhone 14s to try to keep the screen on. So this does get a little hacky uh, because we're using a theory shortcut, basically running notifications over and over again to keep the screen on. And just full disclosure, it sometimes doesn't work and sometimes it does. I've had mixed um, uh, success with it. And as Apple keeps uh, putting out new releases of the iOS 17 beta, I think they're on beta four now. When I made it, it was on beta two and it worked out really well. Um, and I've had people mention in a comment because I did make like a YouTube short about this and some people have been able to get it work, some people can't. So um, full disclaimer at first before I show you the automation. Um, make sure this is a spare device because if it's on your main device, uh, things can go kind of wrong. Uh, this is designed for your spare device just to sit at your desk and run this automation, the Siri shortcut, to loop notifications over and over again so that it can keep standby mode on. Um, if it's not your main device, when you take it off the charger, if you told that notification to loop a billion times, it will still loop a billion times with this hello world or whatever notification you want. Um, and that's not good because the only way to stop it, as far as I know, is to shut down the phone. You can't, you can even shut, shut down Siri shortcuts and it will still run. So that's not fun. So make sure it's a spare device. I'm using an iPhone uh, 10R and it works pretty well um, as of the time of this recording. And let's get into showing you the automation real quick and then I will finish up and hopefully we can get this to work. So first off, you open Siri shortcuts. So I will just swipe down, you type in Siri shortcuts or just find out where your Siri shortcut is. And first I'm just gonna show you my standby mode, what it is pre-built. So first I have a number and I put as many nines as I can. Oh, uh, Siri shortcuts, this can break. So just know this all is beta. Some things might break as new betas come out. Uh, so just be warned, some of the stuff might just glitch out. I know some things of timing and repeating um, can break, but this is how I got to work for a little bit. So anyway, a number for 99999. Then I have a repeat and I'm able to put the number of that 99999 as a value in there. Inside the repeat, I say show notification and I just said, hello world. Then it waits one second. And then after that, the 99999, it will end it. So for multiple, multiple seconds, it will repeat over and over again. So just to show you how that's done from scratch, I say new shortcut. So let's do a number. So we do a number and let's just put 50 times. You can do whatever number you want. And then you do repeat, uh, repeat, click on that. So right now it says repeat one time. Where most people get stuck is they'll just have this little toggle that they can just click until they run out. But what I do is I long press where now see that number at the bottom? You click on that and it's now pulling in this number from the top. Then, you do a notification. So I'll type in, start typing in notification. So you can show a notification, put that inside. It just says, hello world. And then you have to do a wait because if you don't do a wait, put that at the bottom, then it will just show 50 notifications like that. So you have to wait at least one second. The reason why I wait one second is so that it's constantly running and when I have standby mode on and it's waiting like every five seconds, uh, the notification only kicks in when standby mode turns off. So if you have it every five seconds and standby mode turns off at the last of the five seconds, it will wait an additional five seconds before it actually uh, resets. So that's why I have it one second and that's why I make this number as big as I can. So just make that as big as you want. And that should be it. I think that's about everything. The big feature that got this to work. So if I say done, it's just called repeat. The biggest thing for this is in iOS 17, 
settings, you have to go to standby. Click on standby. And there's this new notification, show notifications that you turn off. If you have that on, when you're in standby mode, notification will just keep appearing and it'll be very annoying. So here, and that's that's why I had trouble. I tried this in iOS 17 beta one and couldn't work because the notification kept showing up. So now that this is here, it's fixed that problem. So then what you do next is you can go back to shortcuts and go to automations. And I have one when it's when my iPhone, when my iPhone uh, is connected to power. So when it's on its wireless charger sideways, you can just open that. Um, oh, that's a different one. Um, I had a different one. Oh, okay. I guess I have to build it. So when it's connected to power, so charger, when the, uh, run immediately, then you can run a shortcut. Uh, what was it called? Repeat. Uh, my shortcut repeat. So when it connects to power, then it will run the shortcut, which will run the bazillion notifications. And that's pretty much it. Okay, now that we have the automation made, hopefully it's working out for you. I've had some trouble recreating it, but the idea is there. So even if my idea isn't the exact way how to do it, my series shortcut, and I'll have that linked in the bio. So if you wanna just play around with it, you can. But if you find a better way to build it, please put that in the description because I really want this to work. I want it to work for you. For anyone who does not have iPhones with always on display uh, phones, I want them to have standby mode always on if they want to, because that should be a choice that we can make, not the manufacturer of Apple deciding what we should and should not do, because the phones are always plugged in, so it's not a power issue. And if it's a burn-in issue, uh, this is a spare phone. It's going to stay in my drawer all the time. I might as well see the weather, see my notifications, or see whatever information I want and use it as like a mini HomePod with a screen because um, it works out really well. So hopefully that shortcut works out for you. Um, I got it to work for most of the time and then eventually it would just stop working because the timer would run out and then you have to kind of reset it. And it's, it's very finicky with the timing. So again, try at your own risk. I highly recommend using a spare iPhone. And this right now, the time of this recording is iOS 17 beta. So again, another things may not work or some features may or may not be there. Um, just depending on which beta you're on or if the final release is out there. But if you at least want to try to see if you can get standby mode on permanently for your iPhone, it's worth a try. Have at it. Have fun. Play around with it. See if you can figure it out. And I'll see you in the next video.